You're in the rant wormhole where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get a rant by becoming one of those people. This one's at the request of Kuiper who wants me to rant about psychological battle slash mind game type anime such as Death Note, Kaiji, and what was the other one he said? Liar Game, which I've never read or watched. I don't know if there's an anime adaptation of that. There probably is. Uh. But, uh, you know, these, these psychological battle game kind of shows are usually pretty thrilling. They're pretty a pretty fun ride. It's a way that you can make something that is more plot driven and driven by like twists and having an engrossing narrative while sort of inherently having a little bit more thematic depth just because it's a game being played on a psychological level and how well the story seems like it understands psychology, how well it can sell, you know, it's uh its portrayal of that will will ultimately be whether or not people think it's good. Um, you know, Kaiji is a show that explores a lot of really interesting themes by way of being about this struggle for survival, exploring this underground world of people who've made a lot of bad decisions for the most part, you know, um, different levels of intelligence amongst different participants in the games, and the fact that, you know, the, the stakes are so incredibly high on all these games. Um, you know, I would say that one's less... It's not, like, purely psychologically driven. There's, you know, there's there's other elements to it, but it's basically poker, but at the highest possible extreme of what that can be. And, you know, people are always fascinated by that kind of game because it's like, you know, who understands the minds of men better shall, shall be the victor, and um, that tends to be exciting. Death Note is a lot more goofy. It doesn't really rely as much on, like psychology as it does on everybody just being a genius because it's easy to do this kind of story when everybody's a genius that's why they tend to be that way because all you have to do is consider the most logical option it's just what decision could be made at this moment that would be the that would be the most logical and that's not that difficult to figure out you know, um, whereas it's a lot more difficult to figure out, okay, based on these characters' motivations and their level of intelligence, what kind of moves are they going to make? And when you're in a game where, you know, predicting your opponent is what matters, um, and that opponent is not necessarily a genius who's going to be make the most logical decision, making a more logical decision isn't always the right choice. It's not always that you win by being the smartest. You win by understanding the opponent the best, you know? So, um... When you have imperfect characters trying to suss out something about one another, that's more exciting. It's why there, why poker remains such an interesting game is that there is no clear answer. There's no like, oh, if a person does this, it means this. Having a good poker face means that people don't know what you're thinking. They don't know what kind of logic you're using. Nobody is just picking the most logical example. There's always an element of bluffing. And, you know, in something like... Death Note, I feel like it's 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 more about the satisfaction of how outrageous all the powers are and the, the crazy schemes and the... Really, it's about the rules of the Death Note. Like, the fact that there are such clearly defined rules and that the game has to take place within those rules is more important than psychology, whereas Kaiji is more driven by, like, why would this guy do what he's doing? Um, so, yeah, those are different ways that you can make these interesting. I, I think both are... are enjoyable stories you know they tend to be these dark trippy things i think that the more juvenile these stories are the less interesting they tend to be uh the more they tone up the edge factor the less interested i am like i've never really looked into liar game because at least from a distance it looks really edgy and teenaged and i'm not as interested in that as i am in something like kaiji where part of the appeal is that the characters are older and they're people who are in you know more complex circumstances than high school making decisions based on more things than logic but um yeah uh, i guess that's it that's all i really have to say about that genre <laughs>